<laughs> it's Monday. We gotta smile about something. You gotta. Look at that sunshine. It's gonna be a good day. You know? Beautiful. Have a good one, everybody. Hey, Thursday night at Del Lago Casino, the band Night Ranger returns. You know them best from their major hit, Sister Christian. Our executive producer, Mike DiGiorgio, had a chance to talk with singer and drummer Kelly Kagi about why this is his first time at Del Lago, but not the first time for his band. So Kelly Kagi, a year ago, Night Ranger actually played this exact same venue that you're coming to, the, the Del Lago uh, Casino on Seneca County. I was there. Oh, nice. You actually were not there a year ago. I wasn't. If you can uh, catch people up, especially the, the fans who were there a year ago, on, on why you weren't and, and how you're doing now. Oh, sure, absolutely. Well, um, I, had, uh, I had a valve in my heart replaced from a birth defect that uh, was starting to give me a little trouble. So I um, went in there and had it done, and we had some time off, so it was a good time. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, we, you know, there were a few dates that I had to miss. Sure. But um, luckily I had some friends that, you know, came in there and helped me out. It was a good good thing because now I'm like 120%, you know. I'll, I'll tell you, as a, as a guy who was there, um, missed you, of course, uh, but it, enjoyed the show on a, on a level. It was nice to see your brothers stand by you. They talked about you often. I know they did selfies, took pictures of, of the crowd to send over to you, made sure that uh, you were very much a part of the proceedings. I don't know if you were able to ever see any of that. Sure, absolutely. I saw all of them. Um, I don't know, you know, when you go through something like that, you know, you're kind of oblivious to stuff, but I had my girlfriend, Jennifer, who was feeding information to everybody. And, uh, and uh, nowadays, they like give you a cell phone and you talk to the talk to the doctor directly, like when he's in the operating room and he was calling her up and telling her how things were going and stuff like that and giving her updates every couple hours. And so, yeah, and then the pictures were coming in and, oh, it was just, it was amazing, man. I'm, I'm telling you, that's when you really, feel, you know, figure out who your family is and sure. who your friends and all those people come, you know, came in and it was, it was overwhelming, you know, it was, it was just a... a Made made what it what could have been a you know a, a bad experience into a, an amazing life event. You know. H had you ever missed shows because of the uh, condition before? No, I mean I, I I wasn't having really any symptoms, you know, except for maybe the last three years when I would exercise. You know, I would just uh, I'd I'd kind of feel like I had to you know start slower, you know, right, and build up to it because I you know I'd get a little bit of shortness of breath, but it would go away, you know. But when I play, I'd never, I never had any symptoms at all. In fact, you know, years ago, they, it was so funny. They, they kind of diagnosed me with like asthma. You know, they said, oh yeah, you know, you're, you know, you're, you, you have to, you know, use this medicine or whatever. And then after I had the surgery done, I, I didn't, I didn't have to use the medicine anymore. It was like misdiagnosed. Right. You know, who knew? Night Rangers always had. It's a pretty unique format. For one thing, you got two singers. Uh, how over the years do you guys choose who sings what song? Well, you know, um, Jack and I used to always, uh, always uh, joke about that. You know, it's like usually the, the drummer and the bass player are the first guys to get fired. <laughs> and we just said, well, if we come in and we're the singers and we write songs, um, you know, we're not going to get fired. That's so, funny. <laughs> so, so that, that that joke continued on for for a while, and uh, you know, we used to we have we have fun with it, but you know, we. We both sing, you know, we sing all the chorus. I, you know, we both sing in every song. Right. You know, Jack, Jack, of course, is a, you know, you don't tell me you love me. And when you close your eyes and a rock and American, I sing like Mr. Christian and some of the other songs and, and Sentimental Street, Sing Me Away, you know. And we duo back and forth right. all the time on songs. You know, we, I'll sing a bridge or, you know, he'll sing a verse, I'll sing a, you know, verse we get. We come into the choruses together. I mean, it makes it interesting for us because it's not just like a guy standing up front singing every single song. You know, right. it's a it, you know, there's a variety in it. You know, I love it. And the format of the stage, I've, I've seen you guys many times over the years. The format of the stage itself is different. With you, you're off to the side, your head turned a little bit to sing to us. How did that come about that you don't have the drums center stage like almost everybody else? Uh, well, you know, back in 1983, um, a good friend of ours, Sammy Hagar, was about to, you know, um, oh, there you go. start a, a three-and-a-half-month tour. Our record was, you know, just had just come out. 
<clears throat> and we were thinking, you know, back then he had like a car on stage and <laughs> huge those. big set and this whole thing. And there was like maybe 10 feet, 15 feet in front of all that stuff where you had to set up, you know? So we were like, how are we going to do this? You know, with a singing drummer, he's going to be back there buried behind gear. So we, we figured if we split the platforms, then, and then the guys would have room in the, in the middle to perform and then I could be seen okay. when I sing. So that's how it came about. All for one car, all for one of Sammy Hagar's cars. <laughs> well, all for a Trans Am that doesn't even exist anymore. Your right. motor ran. <laughs> and there was the rest, because we had What's this. What's your <laughs> price for flag? Because we were talking about alternate lyrics. And you thought there's. You, you ever have those moments when you've known a song all this time and yeah. you thought, oh, that's what they're saying? Yeah. You I thought think they, they were, were saying, Rolling. <laughs> hey, more of that interview tomorrow. Kelly talks about the phenomenon of Sister Christian. Who can deny it? Coming up, though, we're talking about a 